What's going on, people? It's OJ bringing you another raw review, and it starts off with Ryback versus Titus. No music, O'Neal, and this match was well for Titus O'Neal. It was the best I've ever seen another opponent go up against Ryback. He held his own for the most part, but you can tell from this match and from Titus O'Neal's face, this match was going to be boring and slow and. Titus, his face, it just showed something like, I shouldn't be here. I'm a tag team. I'm in a tag team. I'm a tag team wrestler. Why am I not in a tag team situation right now? Why am I jobbing out to a guy who can only cut three words at a time? So Ryback wins with a shell shock, and I swear Michael Cole gets dumber by the episodes. This guy actually says, can he get Titus O'Neil up for shell shock? You dumbass, you just saw a video clip where Titus O'Neil got lifted into the shell shock and you said it yourself when he blew the whistle and right back face he got him, he put him in the shell shock anyway next you get a right back promo Ugh. whose bright idea is it to give right back a microphone two weeks back to back to cut a promo and he cuts a promo where he demands a title shot against cm punk at tlc for no reason like this guy he's officially on john cena status like I want a title shot. Why? Uh, because, because fuck all I know. Vicky Grell comes out and basically gives it to him because they, I don't know, whatever. So we get right back with CM Punk in a TLC match at TLC for the main event. Hooray. Then you get Del Rio versus Great Khali because of what happened last weekend. There was a segment where Horn Swaggle, he was dissing Rosa Mendez. Really? Now, this is where we're going on. We got Horn Swaggle dissing Rosa Mendez, saying, I'm not even going to go into it, but you can kind of go into my head. You got the pills of Rosa, Rosa Mendez right there. You know how Horn Swaggle looks. Yeah, you can put two, two together. Uh, their real mate, Great Kylie, tap out and pretty much a. I would say a swatch. Yeah, it was a swatch match. Uh, Kylie got the chops in at the beginning. Dario took advantage and just basically uh, went to work on his arm like he does all the time and made some tap out to the cross arm breaker. Then you get Cole. He interviews Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, and Dean Ambrose. Apparently now they're known as The Shield. Ooh, it's The Shield. Ooh. And they're here to right the wrongs and everything like that then we have something like that back in the old days called uh the censorship group or something i, I know it was something with stevie richards censorship or, i don't know something like that but it's basically some group to help cm punk they didn't say it but you can basically tell it it's gonna be some kind of fake reserve reverse double reverse swerve and ambrose he was the best on the mic seth rollins and roman reigns i'll talk when i want to talk know what i got something to say this interview's over i look like great Kali. for you guys i'm going home roman reigns everyone roman reigns then you get alicia fox versus tamina it's okay divas match it was pretty much the best one i've seen compared to the e versus caitlin match so like this is the second best one in almost six months well Four months because they had one on Superstar between Layla and uh, Natalia, and that was pretty good. But then they started overdoing the match and became disgusting. So Tamina wins with the Samoan drop into the splash. I know what you're thinking, why don't you have a picture of Tamina up because she won? Mostly because Tamina isn't ugly, but the, uh, the outfit fit she wears, hella ugly. So enjoy the picture of Alicia Fox if I'm talking, if the picture up at the same time. You get ten side. Oh, oh, sorry about that. You get a John Cena, Vicky Guerrero, AJ Lee, Dolph Ziggler promo. John Cena comes out, Vicky Guerrero comes out after him, and Vicky hands him some robes to, from some robes for him and AJ to commemorate their relationship or something. And it was, it was all right. AJ comes out and says the only way Vicky can get a man is that she is the boss or whatever. Yeah. Dozilla comes out and saves the episode once again, saying that uh, again under Cena's skin, saying that when uh, AJ kissed Cena last week, it was she was thinking about Dolph Ziggler. 
And then Vicky goes ahead and makes a match between Dolph Ziggler and, and Cena for tonight. I thought we were going to say that for the pay-per-view, but what do I know? Then you get the next match, Tensai versus Kofi Kingston, and it was an okay match. It was an okay match. Tensai, he looked dominant in this match. I know you're thinking, he lost the match. He looked, okay, compared to what I saw him when he faced r True, he was dominant. He, uh, Kofi didn't really get a lot of power moves on him. Basically, none at all. There were some points in the match where, like, Kofi, he hit, like, the diving clothesline and the uh, crossboard, springboard, crossbody. And you could tell Tensai he was, wasn't really trying. He just fell back and let it happen or whatever, just like a prostitute or whatever. Uh, Kofi, he gets knocked to the outside, and then Tensai, he tries to grab him from the – grab his hair. Kofi, he just turns around and hits him with that trouble in paradise on the apron. Tensai is dizzy. Kofi hits the springboard, and Tensai – doesn't even try to sell that shit. He just, as soon as uh, Kofi's in the air, he just falls back and just, fuck it. I'm out of here. Like, cut the check. We out of this bitch. Wade Bear's on commentary. And I love what Wade Bear did right here. He takes the belt, walks into the ring, looking at it, and just hands it to Kofi, walk away smiling. Like, yeah, I'm not going to hit you with the belt. I'm not going to do any of that other stuff. I got, I got time on my hand. I can take the belt when I want to. No biggie. Just hold it for me, kid, for a little bit. Then you get Kane and Daniel Bryan promo about who's going to face CM Punk in the main event in a Raw active match or whatever. Once again, Daniel Bryan steals the show along with Kane for probably like 5%. Bryan, he pulls up a chart saying that these are all the states that voted for him. And like is a whole blue thing. All the red states voted for Kane and there are not, no red. Then he says, let's look at a world map. It's all blue. And he's like, well... Looks like nobody both of you came. Well, maybe in hell. Uh, they get into it. Josh Matthews comes out. And a swerve of Rooney. I know it was probably. It was fake. I know it was fake. Kane wins the Raw at the match. Daniel Bryan is fucking pissed. Kane says, looks like your stats are inaccurate. <laughs> uh, Josh Matthews breaks the news to Daniel Bryan that he will be facing Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio versus Daniel Bryan. Great, great match. You had everything you would think in a dream match. Probably could have said this for a pay per view or something like that. Uh, you know how this goes. Daniel Bryan, he looks dominant in the match. Puts uh, Ray Mysterio in all sorts of submissions and stuff. Ray Mysterio didn't really get a chance to do any kind of like high flying moves or anything like that. The end to the match completely sucked. Ray Mysterio, he wins his match. For no reason. He didn't need any. Like this doesn't help Rey Mysterio. He's like probably like 46, 47. Why did he need to go over on Daniel Bryan. All this time. Like Daniel Bryan has lost. Like what 10 back to back singles matches. To people. That don't. It doesn't make any sense. So Daniel Bryan he tries to put. Rey Mysterio in the no lock. Rey Mysterio counters that into like a monkey flip type situation into a 619 when uh, this is where the show really went down here right here it was basically like the super hour Rey Mysterio wins off of some superpowers or whatever then you get Ziggler versus John Cena and oh boy good match the ending just sucks like John Cena he tries to go for a you can't see me or whatever he tweaks his knee. Ziggler, he goes to the corner to try to unwrap the turnbuckle. AJ Lee comes out to stop him. Vicky Rail comes out also. Then he tries to go grab his briefcase where I seen his grabbing and coming in the ring. He misses and gets hit with the FU and loses the match. Dolph Ziggler had momentum and now it's gone. I mean, in, like, in part of this match, John Cena tried to hit Ziggler with the FU. Ziggler countered it into the zigzag. John Cena kicked out at two. Really? <sighs> Barrett and his young keep going. The John Cena steamroller. Okay, we just ran over Dolph Ziggler. Next stop, Damian Sandow on Wednesday. I just said it wrong. Next stop, Damian Sandow on Wednesday. Look for it. Then you get Sheamus versus Antonio Cesaro. Pretty good match. 
uh, the ending not so good uh, there was some good spots in here Cesaro hit a torture rat tight slam I've never seen that before I, then the gut wrench he hit on Sheamus oh my god he made Sheamus look like a little baby or something uh, then we had some internet fans on here like people from the crowd yelling bro kick you're doing it wrong fella <laughs> that was pretty that was pretty funny Bit show comes out after uh kind of getting ahead of myself Sheamus he comes off the top rope for a shoulder block on uh, Cesaro he gets uppercut it out of his basically his boots Cesaro tries to go for his finisher of course Sheamus counters hits him with a bro kick that knocks Cesaro out of the ring Bit show comes out and uh, he walks halfway down the ramp with a steel chair, then walks back up. Cesaro gets counted out. Sheamus says, when you come down to his ring, you better use that chair. And then Big Show, he breaks the chair apart. And somebody in the crowd just yells. This is where the internet fan, he just yells, that chair is already broken. Not impressive. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> exposed. Big Show got exposed. <laughs> then you get Damian Sandow versus Zack Ryder. A fucking again. I did. I put a picture. I didn't. I don't care. Uh, he, he calls out Damon Sandow. He says, "Tonight I will be defeating a mouth-breathing miscreant." And I'm thinking, who can he face? Uh, and then Zack Ryder's music hits, and I love Zack Ryder. I don't love him, but the character has severely gone downhill. I keep saying this every time I see like one of Zack Ryder true Hollywood stories. I just type it in the comments. Daddy E, just make the internet championship a real championship that you have to defend, that he would have to defend on pay-per-view free shows. He doesn't even have to keep the belt that long. He can be in the title hunt for that belt. It will still put him over. Just do that because we've seen this match between Sandow and Ryder six, seven, seven times. This could have been an interesting feud, but I think maybe we see seen we might have seen this variation of this match, including tag teams, maybe close to 15 times. Wow, very sad. And the sadder thing is, Damian Sandow wins. I mean, it's not sad that he wins because he's a great wrestler, but it's sad that Zack Ryder just keeps getting jobbed out. I mean, he Damian Sandow wins with the Terminus. Was there any doubt? And then you get Kane versus uh, CM Punk. Another great match. It wasn't boring. Uh... At the end of the match, uh, you get the shield surrounding the ring. Who is the shield? Uh, CM Punk hits Kane with the go to sleep. And then the shield, they surround the ring. And it looks like they're going to hit uh, CM Punk, jump CM Punk. But instead, they jump Kane. Dan Bryan comes out. He gets jumped. Ryback comes out and completely shits on the shield for the most part. Then CM Punk gets right. Oh, yeah, before that, CM Punk, when he saw Ryback, he was outside of the ring. He did this fucking dolphin dive over the fucking barrier just to get away from Ryback. That was pretty funny. Uh, uh, CM Punk, he try, he go back in the ring after Ryback has completely decimated the shield. It has a stupid name for it. Any kind of a legion or whatever. Anyway. Ryback, he puts CM Punk up in a power bomb. Roman Reigns, he spears him. They do a triple power bomb on him again because we haven't seen that in a while. Fuck out, fuck out of here. Uh, and then it show ends with CM Punk. The picture you see right here, CM Punk holding the belt over Ryback's chest with his foot on his chest. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This this show, yeah, kind of sucked, man. Damn, Brian, I think he. His promo with Kane was the best part of this show. And that's fucking sad. Wow. Lisa Fox looked pretty nice in that picture and stuff, but whatever. Dolph Ziggler versus Cena, they pretty much killed the momentum for that. Oh my God. That could have been a pay per view match. But instead, Ziggler, not unless they have Ziggler go over at a pay per view, but I mean, how can they build back Ziggler's heat? He's already lost right now. Cesaro versus Sheamus, I say that was pretty good. Man, I give that you know whatever. But besides that, man, out of three hours, you only get three good things. That's just not gonna cut it, man. I gotta rate this show. Oh my god, I gotta rate this show a 2.0.
I'm sorry, 2.0 out of out of five. Uh, so with that being said, I probably catch you guys on main event. I don't really want to watch main event, but uh, Damian Sandow versus John Cena, and I know John Cena is gonna bury Damian Sandow, but I just it's like a, it's like watching a car accident. You can you see it and you want to turn your head, but you can't turn away. So with that being said, guys, my 15 minutes of fame slowly winding down and slowly giving away. I'll catch you guys Wednesday.